All right, guys, let's talk about the question called Hamen Shoes. This question is a very good entry level question for you to understand the basic meaning of the V2MGO and apply the V2MGO concept into your real SBL exam. Very good question. But however, before we start any questions, we have to read the requirement first. Let's read the first one. Analyze, analyze the financial position of Hamen Shoes. Any model of that? No. But whenever the question asks you to evaluate or analyze the financial position of one company, the four sets of ratio you have to memorize it, or the four sets of ratios you have to think about it. The first one is your profitability, profitability ratio such as uh, ROCE and your uh, profit margin, uh, net profit margin, gross profit margin. So these are profitability ratios. After that, we could have some um, liquidity ratios, liquidity, and uh, the other one is your debt ratio, and the final one is your investment ratio. So basically, we have four sets of ratios to tackle the questions like this. This is very simple, your fundamental level knowledges. We will not spend any time on that. But do remember, only calculation of the ratio is insufficient. You need to comment on it. You need to give your own opinion about the calculation number, the figures, right? The calculation result. And um, and something very important, specifically capping your exam, don't conclude or evaluate without any comparison. Even if you self-compare about yourself, I mean, uh, compare with your previous number, last year number or two years ago, is called a comparison. Without any comparison, the simple calculation indicates nothing. Another more professional comparison way is by comparing your number together with your competitors, especially the direct competitors' numbers. So you need to calculate at least the two sets of ratios in order for you to do the comparison. All right, guys, so we will not spend any time on that. This is uh, very easy questions, but we will spend some time on this. Evaluate the proposed investment of 37.5 million in upgrading its production facilities. So in simple English, I spent 35, sorry, 37.5 million in upgrading my production facility. Is it good enough? Is it beneficial, right? So this is another evaluation, simple. But question number B will not be talk about it, why? Because we did not study the basic bottle cost SWOT. This question asks you to use the TOS model to analyze the SWOT condition. So you need to study the SWOT and you need to study the TOS. Without these two models, question B is, um, is very difficult to do it and it's impossible for you to analyze. So fundamental knowledge from uh, model number three strategy is very important. And after that, C, advise the Hamlet family on the importance of mission, value, objectives in defining and communicating the strategies of Hamlet shoes, right? So this is V2 MGO questions, right? Guys, easy. So A and C are our uh, areas of uh, attention. So ladies and gentlemen, coming back to the original questions, let me read. Hamlet Shoes was formed in 1895. What does that mean? This is the old company. It's an established company, established company. Since they are old enough, I can assume that they have strong business model. The business model is well recognized by, well recognized by the general customers. So, uh, the model is good and the business is good. Two brothers who owned and farmed land in potato. Two brothers indicates the company is a family owned company, right? So what are the features of the family owned business? You need to know that. And in the country of Ireland, at this time, Ireland was undergoing a period of rapid industrial growth, rapid industrial growth. Rapid industrial growth means that the business grew faster than usual, faster 
than usual and also represent a lot of opportunities for you to grab. And at the same time, maybe the regulations is insufficient in simple English, immature business. And uh, let's read together. Ireland was undergoing a period of rapid industrial growth, and the many companies were established that paid low wages and expected employees to work long hours in dangerous and dirty conditions. What is that? This is a sweatshop, or perhaps the hired child labor. Perhaps, right? I only guess that. So sweatshop is for sure. Workers living in poor housing were largely illiterate and have a life expectancy of less than 40 years. All right. So this sentence indicates that what is something important? Something called corporate social responsibility is in need. But during that time, the company doesn't really care about that. And second paragraph, the Harmon brothers had, sorry, held a set of beliefs that set of beliefs are the key words for value. When you read the question when you, and the beliefs means the value. So that stressed the social obligation of employers. Their beliefs guided their employment principle. So what are their employment principle? Education, housing for employee, they treat employee um, good. Uh, they treat employee well with all those benefits. Secure jobs and good working conditions. Yeah, good. Harmon Shoes expanded quickly, but it still retained its principle. Still means the core value never changed. Today, the company is a private limited company whose shares are wholly owned by the Harmon family. Harmon uh, shoes still produce footwear in potato, still produce footwear in potato, but they now also own almost 100 retail shops throughout Ireland. Ireland through uh, selling their shoes and boots. Something you need to be careful with on, ladies and gentlemen. This is abnormal. Why is that? How many shoes still produce footwear in potato, but they now also own almost 100 retail shops throughout Ireland, selling their shoes and boots. So there's something you need to be aware of. What is that? Own. This is something very unusual. Why is that? Because in a normal business like this, they are the manufacturing business. They sometimes don't or maybe normally don't own the retail shops. They are the manufacturer, they are the factory. How come they earn or own any retail shops, which is unusual? So the vocabulary of own need you to be aware of. Why? You can think about it, ladies and gentlemen, because their value. What is their value? Read one more time. Secure jobs, good working conditions, education and housing for employees. So, why they own the retail shop rather than lease or rent the retail shops is because of their core value. They want to give their employee a secure job. They want to control the properties that they are operating in. All right. So this is something very unusual. And they aren't selling their shoes and the boots throughout the island. And the next sentence. The factory and surrounding land in Potato is also owned, also owned by the company, and so are the shops, which is unusual in the country where most commercial properties are leased. You see, as we can see that, in many respects, this policy reflects its principle of the family. That means further affirmative, affirm their principles, their beliefs their uh, fundamental guidance, their values has never changed. They are keen to promote ownership, keen to promote ownership, and are averse to risk and borrowing. They believe that all stakeholders should be treated fairly. Reflecting this, 
a complaint. The company aims to pay all suppliers within 30 days of the invoice dates. What is it? V2MG. What is this? Objective. Clearly, this is the objective I've told you. Objective is something specific, normally regarding the dates, uh, the time, and even the percentage, right? Can you still remember that? Of course. These are the standard terms of supply in Ireland. Also, many companies do reality take much longer to pay their creditors. So, first page finished. Second one, the current common family still passionate about their belief. Still is the keyword. Still, that means the core value never changed. Passionate about their beliefs and the principles that inspire the founders of the company. And there's a recent history that's really together. Also, the Harman family still own the company. It is now totally run by professional managers. The last Harman to have operational responsibility was Jock Harman, who commissioned and implemented the last upgrade of the um, production facilities in 1991. What does it mean to you, ladies and gentlemen? 1991 was the last the previous upgradation of the uh, production facility in the case that your machine is not new enough, is uh, uh, is rather old machine. We can see that the efficiency of the machine could be low, and the cost of repairing and maintenance is rather high. So if efficiency is slow, maintenance and the, mm, repairing cost are high, indicates what? Indicates that your price is not competitive. Do you agree? If your profit has not been changed. If you want your price to be competitive, you need to shrink your profit further. Do they want to do that? So this is the logic behind the numbers. Carry on. In the past five years, the Harman family has taken substantial dividends, substantial dividends from the company. What does it mean? That means your reinvestment capability Reinvestment capability is affected. Do you agree? Reinvestment capability is affected. And at the same time, your risk capacity is lower. Right? This is something you need to analyze and carry on. While it's leaving the running of the company to the professional managers that they had appointed during their period, of the, uh, during their period, the company has been under increased competitive pressures from overseas suppliers. So, where are those pressures? Mainly from the price. The overseas supplier, for example, if they are from a developing country, and if they are from the uh, worker-intensive country their costs are generally lower than usual and their prices will be very competitive. So, and since your product, the footwear, does not carry so much feature of the differentiation, therefore your business is in danger. Carry on. Who have much lower labor rate, see, we analyze that, lower labor rate and more efficient production facilities. That means their production facilities a, uh, a mo much more advanced and uh, latest than yours. The financial performance of the company has declined rapidly and as a result, Harman family has recently commissioned a firm of business analysis, that's you, to undertake a SWOT analysis to help them understand the strategic position of the company. And we will just thoroughly read it through the SWOT analysis result. Carry on. The analysis shows that our strength is significant retail expertise because we are good at retailing. We have more than 100 retail outlets. Excellent computer system software expertise and significant pro property portfolios because we own them <laughs> rather than lease them. Weakness. First weakness is high production cost as, a, as we have already mentioned. 
reasons of it, right? And second, outdated production facilities, restricted internet site, opportunity, increased consumer spending and consumerism. That means the fashion of the um, young customers has changed. It's a good opportunity for you. So if you want to cope with the new fashion, your R&D um, in terms of the new R&D, in terms of your new product must be kept coming out in order to cope with the fashion changes. So you need to be able to grab the opportunities. Number two, uh, increase the desire for safe family shopping environment. That means that your business model could be changed to cope with the new demand. If you want a safety, uh, safer work, uh, shopping environment, perhaps we can um, re-modify, uh, decorate the entire business outlet and to suit your demand and suit your need. So <clears throat> these opportunities must be grabbed as well. And third one, growth of green consumers. The green consumers requires your product to have no uh, leather, right? And we can use the plastics to make that um, in simple English. Your product must be modified according to that and your R&D must be um, uh, developing enough. Your R&D must be strong and robust enough to cope with that need as well. All right, guys, threat. Let's check what are the threat to them. First, cheap import from uh, the overseas supplier and the legislation with, within the R&D that means the compliance cost. Compliance cost is higher than usual. And right, that's all. That's all about the SWOT analysis. Um, let's read next one. Recent strategies. Recent strategies. Senior management at Harman Shoes have recently suggested that the company should consider closing closing its potato production plant and move production overseas. Ladies and gentlemen, do you conquer? That means, do you agree? Do you agree with this strategy? The senior management team want to close their production plant and move overseas, ladies and gentlemen. Why this is not good? Why? Simple. Because we have a fundamental value and the purposes to exist. Do you agree? Our value is to give employees secure jobs, is to give employee a good working condition. So if you move your factory and the plant overseas, what about our current employees? Are you going to redundant them? All right, are you gonna um, ask them to have uh, early leave? Probably not. So this suggestion was uh, totally made it in the opposite way of our value. But what is the fundamental reason and the root of the problem? In simple English, why did our senior management have a strategy like this? Why? Let's find out. Perhaps outsourcing to establish the suppliers in our interior and elsewhere. These suggestions was immediately rejected by Harman family who questioned the value of the senior management. Immediately rejected, right? Immediately rejected. Question their value. Why you want to make that decision? The family issued the press release with the aim of reaffirming the core value which underpins their business. The press release stated that in our view, the day that common shoes cease to be the potato company is the day that it closes. That means we have to sustain our fundamental purpose to exist. We have to um, believe in our core values um, continuously without adding changes, right? The press release affirmed that our value will not be changed accordingly. Consequently, the senior management team will ask to propose an alternative strategy directions. So the senior management team alternative is for the company to upgrade its production facility, upgrade production facility to gain labor and energy efficiency. So where got money? The cost of this proposal is 37.5 million 
And at the recent scenario planning workshop, the um, recent uh, scenario planning is another technical capability you need to be possessed with in your uh, strategy study. The management team developed what they considered to be two realistic scenarios. Both scenarios predict that the demand for Harman shoes footwear would be low for the next three years. However, increased productivity and a lower labor cost would bring the net profit of five million each year. Uh, after three years, the two scenarios differ. The first scenario predict a continued low demand for the next three years with net profit, sorry, net benefit still running at five million per year. And the team feel that this option had a probability of uh, 0 0.7. And the alternative scenario predict a probability of 0.3%, sorry, 0.3 or 30% predict a higher demand for the Harman product due to the changes in external environment. What are those changes? Perhaps competitors move, competitors move, or technology change. Right, these are considered to be the accident environmental change or even the fashion. So if that happened, this would lead to the net benefit of 10 million per year in the year of four, five, and six. All estimated net profit are based on discounted future cash flow. You know, in our level, strategy professional level, the calculations is gonna be very easy. What they are they want you is the the reasons and they want you to show them the fundamental logic behind it. So financial information about the company is right here, which by the way, we will not be using that information because this is requirement A. And coming back to the last sentence, ladies and gentlemen, in 2007, Harman Shoes paid on average their supplier invoice 28 days after the date of the invoice in 2009. This has risen to 43 days and the average time to pay the supplier invoice stood at 63 days in 2011. So, ladies and gentlemen, the question has been finished, the reading. And do you have your answers? Let's do it one more time. Requirement A, analyze the financial position. You need to use this uh, financial statement to calculate the different figures and to compare them among these three years. But in the real life, we don't do that comparisons. We don't, do, we don't compare ourselves. We compare with the competitors, but in this case, you don't have it. But in SBL exam, we have competitors data, all right? And Secondly, evaluate the proposed investment of 37.5. So we need to show that 37.5 is um, profitable or is a good decision. How are we going to do that? This is your F2 fundamental knowledge called decision trade. Can you still remember decision trade? Let me tell you the um, structures of decision trade. First, we have the option. We have option one, two. Three, and we have the probability, probability, or maybe uh, 0 0.3, 0 uh, 0.3, and 0 0.4. Combining together, that's one. Probability will have to be summarized into one. That's the reason. Uh, and <clears throat> after that, we have years, maybe uh, three years, three years, three years. And after that, we have the uh, benefit of each year. Benefit of each year, maybe two, three, and five. And finally, we have expected value. Expected value. So when you combine them together, use this number compared with 37.5 to check whether the investment is good or not. Let's do it now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's read it one more time. The entire investment is 37.5, and we have two scenarios. So, option one and two. One and two, all right? So, let's read. Both scenario predicts the demand for Harman shoes football would be low for the next three years. So, next three years, option one and two are the same in terms of years, one, two, three. They are low in demand. However, increased productivity 
and the lower labor cost would bring about net profit of 5 million in each of these years. That means 5 million times 3 equals to 50 million, right? And, and after that, from year, year 4 to 6, the scenario differs, right? You see, the two scenarios differ after three years. The first scenario predicts a continued low demand for the next three years with net profit still running at five each year. So first scenario, five million times three. And the team feel that this option had a probability of probability of 0.7. So 15 million times 0.7, the result will be 10.5 expected value, right? 10.5. And the alternative scenario with a probability of 0.3 predict a higher demand for Harman product due to the changes in external environment. This would lead to the net benefit of 10 million each year. 10 million each year. Three years coming back together, there will be when we time them together, 30 million times 0 0.3, that's 9 million. Combined together, 19.5 plus 15 million. 19.5 plus 15 million. All together, we have 34.5 million. Totally. Do you agree, guys? So the question asks us 34.5 million and 37.5 million. Which one is good? Of course, the cost of investment by 37.5 million is much more than the benefit that we are going to earn. However, this is only based on your financial analysis. In terms of the non-financial analysis, you need to tell the examiners and markers that this is necessary. Why? because the machine was too old. We have to cope with it. This kind of a cost is a necessary evil. We have to spend them. We have to spend, we have to invest if we want to do this business still, all right? So we don't compare this way. Financial and non-financial way indicates two different suggestions. Financial way, this is um, not good, uh, insufficient. But non-financial way, this is good. We have to do it because of the uh, external changes in the environment. However, coming back to the financial analysis, the 34.5 million could also be changed a little bit. What if, what if, imagine, what if the second scenario fully realized? If the second scenario fully realized, what is the answer? That means no more first scenario. If it's fully realized 10 million times three, that's 30, 30 plus, 15, that would be 45. If it's a 45, if it's 45 million, that would be higher than the original investment of 37.5. Do you agree? Yes. All right, guys. So this is a basic analysis of the question A. Simple? Yes. In our exam, it's all simple in terms of the calculation. When they give you a calculation questions, you are lucky. But the third one, advice on the Harman families on the importance of mission, value, and objectives. How are we going to tackle these questions in defining and communicating the stresses of Harman shoes? Remember, what is the what is mission? That's a fundamental purpose for the organization to exist. What is the value? That's the way the business is carried out. What is the objective? That's a very specific aim with some uh, quantitative nature. All right. So. The question asks you, what are the importance of that in defining the communicating the strategies? So you have to go back to the original cases. What is something wrong with that? Something wrong, the things that is unusual, as I told you, is the strategies, recent strategies by senior management. Senior management want to close the potato production plant and move the production overseas. This is wrong, as I told you that it goes against with our original value. But what is, the, what is the fundamental reason behind it? Why? In simple English, why they made a decision like that? Easy. Why is that? It's because they 
did not know the fundamental value in the company. How come? Remember, in the entire cases, nowhere says the company has a mission statement. The mission statement has six elements. What are the six? Formal, published within, reflect your core value, support your strategy, concerns both for internal and external stakeholders together with some risk awareness, right? So the mission statement always carried your value statement in the real life. So this case, they don't have the mission statement. The reason that the senior management made such a stupid mistake is because they are, un they are not aware of their values. They know there's a value, but they are not aware of the existence of their values, and they don't even know the true meaning of their values. So the fundamental reason behind it is the lack or the omission, omission of the mission statement. In order for this manager to be aware and thoroughly understand the, uh, the value statement or the uh, true belief in your company by the original founders, you need to have the mission statement. And coming back to the questions, they want you to explain the importance. The importance of mission statement is like this. They deliver the value, they help your senior managers to make an ethical decisions according to the fundamental purpose and the fundamental beliefs by the original founder in the company. And what about the objectives? All right, guys, what about the objectives? Objectives is right here. These are the objectives. The objectives have kept changing, kept changing, which is not uh, good enough as um, a company like this, because we, as we said that objective is fixed, we don't want that. We, we, we want to pay our average suppliers in 28 days or maybe less than 30 days, but the days kept rising. That means you do not keep your, you do not keep your promise. This is uh, something, um, uh, something unacceptable to the company. All right? So the, that's the reason that we have to understand if there's an objective, it's fixed. We don't change the objectives that often. All right, guys, congratulations. We have finished these questions. What do you think? Is it easy? All right? So this is the uh, entry level questions. This type of questions only help you to understand the basic fundamental uh, logics, fundamental business models before taking the real exam papers. All right, guys, we have about 10 different entry level questions for you to attempt before your SBL specimen paper and pass your questions. We're gonna take a short break after that. Let's talk about the leadership. All right, guys, enjoy.